Alfred Voice joining us on the show and it's been a healthy performance for Aptech in Q3 but what's the outlook uh, going forward? Will layoffs impact their institutional demand? How are we seeing demand shaping up in tier 2 and 3 cities? We've got Dr. Anil Panth who's the Managing Director and CEO of Aptech with us on the show. And it's been a strong quarter for you, you know, because that's been led largely by the retail segment with the 74 crore growth this quarter. What is the outlook in terms of the overall demand environment? So, uh, you, you know, this is the first quarter where actually all three of our businesses, whether it's domestic retail, international, or uh, the enterprise business have fired in unison. And I'm happy to share with you that uh, I see this growth pattern continuing at least for the next four quarters and uh, I, I mean you know we're, we're we're doing highs in almost every business line that we're in um, lifetime highs in domestic retail lifetime highs in international business and the enterprise business also having recovered very well we've just delivered a very very large order for a autonomous central body in the examination space and that business continues to thrive now. So at least for the next four quarters, I see uh, very, very good signs of high growth as we move forward. Uh, what kind of products are seeing maximum traction for you? Because last time we spoke, you had said that it's gaming and the entertainment vertical, which has been seeing a lot of traction. Does that trend continue, you think? Very pleased to share with you that in the last six months, we have become the largest organization which is training people in the gaming space. We've almost uh, crossed 3,000 enrollments in that. And specifically in that, we're getting a lot of traction in the higher end of the gaming space, which is towards immersive multimedia, towards the metaverse, towards courses on using augmented reality for creating games. So uh, that is contributing already almost about 18% to our uh, booking and almost about 11% to our uh, revenues in this year already. And we expect this to continue to grow at a very, very healthy space, pace. So what about uh, the outlook when it comes to the softness that we've seen in the institutional segment? Do you think that we can see the impact of layoffs and cost consciousness impact demand in this segment over the medium term? So, uh, Unlike most other institutional players, we're not in the software development space. You know, we, we, we provide a service which is conducting examinations for government bodies. And that is not uh, dying down at all. Like I said, we have a very, very good order book. In fact, in my earnings call in the previous quarter, I had shared that we would probably cross 100 crores of uh, billing in that space in Q3 and Q4. And we are on track to overachieve on that number. We've done approximately about uh, 40 odd crores in Q3. And we expect to do at least another about 70 plus crores in Q4. And very, very healthy pipelines for Q1 and Q2. So that is doing extremely well for us. Forget about laying off. We've added about 400 people in that space. Just to get in your take as well on the budget announcements with respect to skilling centers or anything in particular that stood out according to you? Uh, you, you, you know, the biggest thing that could, that could stand out for our industry is the Prime Minister's focus on the media and entertainment space. He himself has been one of the primary proponents of, you know, talking about how this space is going to grow significantly in the next five years. And as one of the largest providers of talent in this space, we are very, very well positioned to sort of uh, ride that wave. Till, uh, what exactly are your expansion plans? And also with regards to that, um, what about the funding for this growth? Uh, I'm very happy to share that the funding is completely internal. We still remain a debt-free company. And the way I see it, we will not probably need to tap the uh, tap any anyone for a loan at least for the next let's put it this way 12 to 18 months all our funding will come from internal accruals we're sitting on about 120 crores of cash and this is only expected to grow you know, you know all our businesses are cash generating businesses 
Okay. Um, thanks very much then for taking time out and joining in, giving us a view on how uh, you know your business is shaping up as well as what the long-term outlook is. I just want to thank pull you up for having me.